as an Auburn fan, the past few days have been kind of uh, an emotional roller coaster, I think to say the least. Um, when Brian Harson was announced as head coach in December, I, I know there were a lot of skeptics, and um, I think most of us want to give him a fair chance, and I, th- I think he's going to do a great job, so let me go ahead and say that. But uh, there, were, there were two coaches we were all ha- were hoping would stay on staff um, for recruiting purposes, um, and, and be- just because we love them as Auburn fans. And those two coaches were Cadillac Williams and T. Will. And uh, as I'm sure you've heard, uh, Cadillac Williams will be returning as running backs coach. And then uh, the last hire with T. Will, um, they really kind of dragged that hire out. They would not say whether he is on staff or whether he is not on staff. And they just kept on dragging it out more and more and more and more. And then finally on, um, I think it was the 23rd, was that yesterday? Past day or two, um, we did get the news that uh, Coach T. Will will not be returning to Auburn. And a lot of fans are upset about it. Um, I'm disappointed. Um, and I think probably a lot of people are, um, you know, it's okay if, if you're not disappointed and you think it's a good move, that's fine too. But, uh, it, it, I enjoyed having him at Auburn and I, I'm just, I was really hoping, um, Cadillac and T. Will would both be back, but they're not. And I'm going to choose to trust, uh, coach Harson. Uh, I think he knows what he's doing, but, uh, it's, it's still okay and still valid to feel disappointed. And if you did not see, uh, T. Will posted this on uh, Twitter on the 23rd. Auburn family, they say a picture is worth a thousand words. My family and I love you, or I'm sorry, my family and I love and thank you, War Eagle. And as you can see from those pictures, he, he was just, a, uh, you know, the players loved him, fans loved him. So I, uh, you know, as I've said, he, we're going to miss him as Auburn fans. And that's okay. That's all right. Um, this is not the only news we got this week. Um, we thought, as you saw with a bunch of um, websites, we thought we were done with the coaching staff for Brian Harson. His first staff was set. There were tons of articles put out. I was ready to show a couple of those articles this weekend, um, actually today, and I decided to go um, with this video instead. Um, his first staff is actually not complete. So we got news today that um, Tracy Rocker, who a, a lot of fans were excited to see um, him coming back to Auburn, he's actually not going to be joining the staff anymore, it appears, as the D-line coach because the Philadelphia e- Eagles um, called him up, offered him a job, and it appears like he will be um, joining the Eagles uh, next year, um, we it, I kind of hate the way this happened because you know you agree to uh, come on staff with Brian Harson and his um, you know his his new coaching staff, and and then you get another offer that is better, but you you've already made the commitment to Auburn, and I just I personally don't think it's right once you've made that commitment to then. Uh, take it back and go take something else. Um, some people are going to disagree with me on that, and some people are going to think, no, go ahead and go to the NFL. Um, and and maybe you're right, maybe you should go and take that money, but I, I, I still feel like there's something to be said for if you've made a commitment to someone else, sticking with that commitment. Um, so, you know what, Coach Harson's going to figure this out. Um, it's not the end of the world. We've got, you know, Two pieces uh, or two bits of news that are disappointing uh, with T. Will not coming back and now Tracy Rocker leaving. Is that going to uh, devastate the staff? No, of course not. But um, it's still okay to, do, to be disappointed about it. Um, that's all I've got in this episode. It's a pretty, uh, pretty sh- short show today. Um, thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, please go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe if you've not already done so. Uh, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one.